Hey, I'm Nan Kelly. Welcome to One Pan Nan. Today we're here at a really important place in Nashville, Tennessee, the Second Harvest Food Bank. In addition to the great work that they do in there, they also have a culinary arts center. And we're going to cook with Chef Mark Rubin, the director of the center. They do some fantastic work and they also have a restaurant. You can go in two days of the week and enjoy a wonderful meal and know that your money is going toward the mission. So let's head inside and learn more about this wonderful place and their mission. We're going to talk with Janie Day, the president of Second Harvest and then we'll hook up with Mark Rubin for a terrific meal. Well, our mission is to feed hungry people and to work to solve hunger issues in our community. And we do that through a variety of ways, but we're actually a food distribution center. We move food in, we solicit food from the food industry, and then we move it back out to help feed hungry people in our community. You know, Nan, there are over 400,000 individuals in the Middle Tennessee area alone that are food insecure. With and that about means they don't know where their next, next meal is meal's coming, coming from. from. Exactly, and we're here to assist families. Janie, did you yeah. notice my orange shirt? I did notice your orange shirt, and I am so excited because you are ready for Hunger Action Month, which is happening during the month of uh, September. Isn't she fabulous? <laughs> if you want to know how you can support Hunger Action Month, it's secondharvestmidtn.org. Correct, correct. And we hope everybody will get engaged and involved and learn more about how they can make a difference and help us to be a hunger-free Tennessee. Thank you, Janie Day. Thank you. And I'm I'm going to go in now and, and cook with Mark Rubin, Chef oh. Mark Rubin at the Culinary Arts Center. He is up next. We're going to go have a little rice noodle, Szechuan, shrimp, stir fry something, something. Oh, sounds delicious. <laughs> this man is a certified executive chef. How long have you been here, sir? I've been here 10 years, and I was in the restaurant business for 25. I know all about you. I think I've eaten in many of your restaurants. And you're still alive? <laughs> <laughs> and as the executive director of the Culinary Arts Center, what, do you, what does that mean? Long before my 10 years of working here, they had this space, and they knew they went to the kitchen here, and they didn't have a mission for the kitchen, so we decided to turn it in a profit center for the food bank, so the profits we make here go to our cause. We run a cafe on Wednesdays and Fridays where people can come in and have a buffet. Then we do a ton of corporate catering. We have great events. We did a fundraiser with nine of Nashville's best chefs. And then we have a summer cooking camp we call Cook's Rule, where we invite teenagers. We work with eight at a time and they cook dinner for four and bring it home. Well, I'm thrilled to be in your kitchen, sir. Thank you. And I know you do such great work for the community and, and really underscoring the mission for Second Harvest. It's what motives. Well, I want to hear more about your past. Okay. So, but first, this is making me salivate. This is okay. smelling really good. We're doing a rice noodle shrimp stir fry. It's a hot, spicy dish. A neat way to make it not as spicy yeah. is for us to take out the pith and the seeds from the serrano pepper. Am I doing that right? Right, and then take the tip of your spoon and run the length. And you got it. I'll shoot. The there bread. you go. There you go. That left hand is good for something. But hey, we're left handed. That's why we get along so good, Nan. Being in the profit world for so long, you're now in the not for profit world taking your skills and your gifts. Why did you make that change? Well, it was really neat. When I started my first restaurant in Nashville, I was 25 years old and Nashville supported me. And I said, I gotta get back to the city. And Second Harvest was just starting up. I helped them with their first fundraiser and I helped for many years thereafter. And while I had my restaurants, I served them to board and I was engaged. So like I told everybody throughout all those years, I, that I made my living and feeding the well to do, but I make it my mission to help out hunger. And now I get to work with food and work on my mission every day. So you've come full circle yes. with Second Harvest. Oh, absolutely. Since as a volunteer and as a here. Yes. All right, this knife is fancy, so you're going to trust me to do this? Oh, absolutely. All right, what, what do I do with the, ser the oh, serrano we're first? i cut it in pretty little Oh, Julianne. Julianne. Okay. So, okay, so you taught me this. Uh, three fingers, beautiful. Am I good? You're great. Certified executive chef is he? Ah! Okay, so just yes. chop. I really do like 
slicing. There you go, beautiful. Is that okay? Yep, and we're ready to go. Okay. We, we'll uh, cut up a few of the oh. snow peas. All right. So, as a kid up in Pennsylvania. Yes, that's where I grew up, in the Pocono Mountains. And I don't know if you know, the Pocono Mountains was the honeymoon capital of the Northeast for many years. I tell everybody that I, I'm a product of honeymoon lust, <laughs> but I'm the middle child. So I tell everybody also my parents are still on their perpetual honeymoon. Aww. I'm the middle child too. Oh, we see where we're handed. finding more things in common. And now if okay. I could just learn how to cook like this man, I'd be doing okay. I understand that you grew up near your grandmother, who yes. was a Romanian Yes, that they came into the United States in the 1890s at the age of 14. Wow. And my grandfather, my, and these are my pa mother's parents, okay. uh, he came on over and they were born 20 miles apart in Romania and met in New York City. Oh, that's a great story. Is, and then they moved from New York to, to Poconos because he went to feel more like his home country, Romania. Oh. And your your love of cooking, dare I say that it started there with oh, your grandmother? No question. My mother and my grandmother and my grandfather, because they were um, uh, into organic back in the 50s. My grandfather had an organic garden. My grandmother would make yogurts. And, and I learned uh, this holocaustic way of eating and loving food. And I been pursuing their passion turned into my so. passion. Yes. Well, I I also read that your the book, How Did Julia Childs Influence You as a Young Man? Um, my mother came home uh, with the volume one of um, the te te Techniques of French cooking. cooking. And so that was my first cookbook. I still have it, actually. <laughs> and and uh, it's great. She broke every restaurant into so many steps and almost made it too complicated. But I fought through it, and I made my first souffle at 13. Our kitchen was a total mess. You made your first souffle at 13? Yes, and I'm not sure I knew how I did it, but I knew I did it. I got nothing. I, I was like watching Lucy and Ethel at 13. I wasn't worried about the kitchen. Well, I was watching Galloping Gourmet and <laughs> Julia Childs and all those, gr and James Beard on PBS. Oh, wow. And my mother and my uh, brothers thought I was crazy, which I am, but, and so I've been, had a passion for food, people, and in conversation all my life. Well, we're gonna get along great. Now, Chef. Okay, we got a very, very, very hot walk. How long did you have to heat this up? Uh, about 15 minutes. Okay. And we're going to start with our vegetables. All right. Once they're done, we'll transfer them to the bowl. And then okay. we've marinated our, uh, some, some shrimp. Shrimp, okay. And we use oyster sauce, white pepper, salt, sugar, uh, rice wine vinegar, got and it. sesame seed oil. Oh, that's gonna and be soy nice. sauce. And, that's going to be nice. Oh. Mm. First, we get our oil into the skillet. Right. And it's there is no... Um, uh, water, so it's not going to splatter, but we're going to coat this wok. And as you can see, we, we got this wok really hot. You can smell that sesame seed oil. But I that's had what it. you, I mean, you wanted it this hot, yes, right? It's supposed to be. I'm going to start with my bok choy and my green onions and my red peppers. And we're going to just stir it a little bit. Oh, and I forgot a little ginger. And we'll take the garlic for the shrimp. All right. You got it. Okay. And actually, I should have done the ginger first because that really helps with the fragrance of uh, intensifying the flavors. But this baby is hot enough that I think we can do a good job. Now, here. why did you choose this dish? What was the reason? Uh, well, for you this? told me one pot, and, and I thought hard, and I said, okay, we'll do one pot, we'll do something that isn't done all the time. Yeah, it is. One pan man, chef. So and, you did so good. And I'm a, I love Asian food. You just put the bok choy oh, leaves in there, right? Yes. What I do is I like to separate my stems from my leaves. Stems cook slow, the leaves cook fast. So, um, and this is just a little water, create a little steam. And we're just got, can you smell this that? This is ginger? looking great. This is so wonderful. Okay, and I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna, this is done. That's oh. it? Almost. Oh yeah, my, I worked hard on this. I know, we don't want to forget them. Yeah, there. You need a little. You want to do a little yeah, stir? Yeah. 
Well, there you go. We need a good country beat going on too. I think we can figure out something. We are in Music City after yeah. all. We got the memo this morning, didn't we? Yes. About our orange. It is Hunger Action Month here at Second Harvest Food Bank. So we're wearing orange to promote awareness. Chef, this place does so much for Middle Tennessee. I understand that there was like close to 400,000 people don't know where their next meal is coming from. And that's just here in this area. You guys reach out to 450 plus agencies partnering up. I mean, this is a big awareness and September is the month to do it in. If you want to learn how you could help Second Harvest in their, their mission, the website is, keep me honest, secondharvestmidtn.org. Did I get that right? You got it right. Phew, because this is important stuff. And, the, and there's three important messages here. You can, you can help by donating time. Good. Donating food gotcha. and donating money. Yes. And when you donate money, there's some beautiful statistics here. The first one is that out of every dollar donated, 96 cents goes directly to the mission. Stays here in the mission. Yes, and very few not-for-profits can say that. It's incredible. Very and little investment really makes a difference. Big difference here. And you know, our majority of our people who donate to us are small donations. Those are so important. Now, I mean, we love the big ones, but the majority are small. So that means that a lot of people do care, but there's still a lot of work that needs to be done. So you've got the shrimp already done. We've yeah. got the vegetables done. Let's and add them. This is rice, rice noodles. Now, now, how did you prepare these? I just soaked them in water, for in very hot water, for 15, 20 minutes. Now we're stir frying them. They're picking up all that wonderful stuff from the pan and that wonderful flavor. Just add a little bit of water. Just de deglaze that a little bit of with water. Would you want to add the veggies? Add the veggies, see? Okay. And then we'll add the shrimp. And we're getting real close to being done here. Yum, yum. Now, seriously, could I come volunteer with you um, in the, on the cafe days, on Wednesdays or Fridays? Fridays are. You can come in on Tuesdays and Thursdays because we do a lot of our prep. Gotcha. For fr uh, Wednesday and Friday lunch. And if you're in town, the restaurant, the cafe, the First Harvest Cafe, is open on Wednesdays and Thursdays. Do you do a, a buffet? Friday. Friday, excuse me. Yes. Yes, we do a buffet. It's on Wednesdays. It's $8, and it's an express buffet. It's a modified from what we do on Fridays. Got it. And that's $8 per person. And we always have a soup and salad and some sort of fun entree. And then on Fridays, we have two proteins usually, a starch, a veggie, a wonderful salad, dessert, and beverage for 12, for 12 bucks. That's your donation, and it's staying right here at Second Harvest. And my mouth is watering. That is so fantastic. Oh my gosh. I'm glad I came hungry. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, that's wonderful. It didn't take us long. No. The prep was a little, but that's afterwards. okay. I learned a lot about the prep. Thank you. May I try? Can oh, let's get you up. Uh, I got. I'm wrestling through the cabinets to find myself a fork. Well, you were very close. Oh, there we go. This is great. So our rice noodles, Sichuan, Sichuan, stir fry. Sh stir fry, shrimp. Stir shrimp. Fry. Oh, thank you, sir. And let's get you a little. Yeah. And you never had ba bok choy, right? I, you know, maybe at a, at a Chinese restaurant oh, or something absolutely. like that. But, oh, that's great. Thank you, chef. Thank you. My pleasure. And I so appreciate you fixing up a great one pan dish for me. This and it's wonderful. been my pleasure. May I? Yes. It's hot. Mmm. That is delicious. Oh, good. My favorite word. She knew my favorite word. Thank you so much. Thank you were, you. May I give you a hug? Oh. We're hugging. Because I'm coming, I'm gonna come and volunteer yes. in your kitchen. We're left-handed. Yep. We what else do we have? We're in middle child. We're middle child. We're both wearing orange. Orange. We both love Second Harvest Food Bank. He's, and we're he's on a mission to help end hunger. And I'm gonna come be a part of it. And I'll I, thank you so much. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. If you want to learn how you can help this fabulous mission, again it's Second Harvest M I D T N dot org. Okay? And get involved in the month of September. It counts all year long, but especially during this month. 
Thank you. Thank God you. God bless you. God bless you. Now I gotta eat. Oh. I, can't, I can't talk to you anymore because now I have to eat. Uh. You're Very making good. me hungry. Very good. Well, where's your plate? I'm right here. All right. Serve it up.